Okay, good evening parents and scholars. Tonight this is going to be our strategy video to help us solve our homework. So we learned about the distributive property of multiplication today and how to use it to break down larger array problems into smaller arrays, add them together, and find our answer. So if we look at our first array, I count 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we know that this original problem is 4 times 6. So now if I look, I have 6 as my larger number. So I could break this down in any number of ways. So let's break this down. I know 2's are an easy number to multiply, so I'm going to break it into a 2 by 4 array and a 4 by 4 array. So now I'm going to take my first array that I broke up and put in this first box. 1, 2, second row of 2, third row of 2, and our fourth row of two. So the problem that's represented by this array is four times two. So I'll put that in my first set of parentheses, four times two. Now the second array I broke it into is four by four. So let me draw that. One set of four, a second set of four, a third set of four, and a fourth set of four. So the multiplication problem that is shown by this array is 4 times 4. So I put that in my second set. Now it's time for me to solve my problems. So I know that 4 times 2 is 8. And I know that 4 times 4 is 16. So now I need to add my two products to find my answer. So 8 plus 16 is going to be 24. So the answer to this array is going to be 24. So I'm going to write my answer near my upper array and circle it. Let's look at our second array. So on our original problem, we have 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I know the original problem represented by this array is 3 times 6. So I'll write that in my first set of parentheses. I can break this down in any number of ways. I'm going to break it right down the middle since I have 6 as an even number. And that way I have two arrays that are exactly the same. So first row of 3, second row of 3, third row of 3. And because both of my arrays are exactly the same, I'll do the same here. Second row of 3, third row of 3, Okay, so if I look, these represent the same problem, which is 3 times 3. So that tells me that 6 I broke down into 3 plus 3. So now let's solve for our problems. So 3 times 3 I know is 9. And this one is the exact same array, so I know also 3 times 3 is 9. So now I need to add together my two partial products, 9 plus 9, to give me my total answer, which is 18. So I'll write it near my array and circle it to show my answer. If you have any problems or questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to send a message on ClassDojo.